Welcome back to the channel, Fancy Beauties and Bowls. I'm coming in with a lovely, lovely video. I hope that you feel the same way. I tried to prepare myself as much as I could for this video as far as the background and things like that are concerned. You guys know I used the green screen and it didn't dawn on me that I was using teal and it was going to clash with the green screen. So part of the video is going to be green screen background and some of it is going to be a background that I used that I could use before I got to the teal color. So I just want you guys to know the true color of the look, which is a teal color and it's really, really pretty. I did take some steel photos so you'll be able to see it there in modelization part. So I'm just already laid down my first color and I wanted that to be a nice warm color. And I'm gonna list all the products that I used in the description bar below. So what you just saw me do was use a translucent powder to set that base before I went in and started my blend. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can talk you through this as much as I can. So here, right here, that is the true color of the ash shadow that I used. Really, really pretty. And I think this was out of the Jacqueline Hill palette, the second volume. I think it was in that palette. So I will, like I said, I'll leave everything in the description bar below. But I hope you guys are doing wonderfully well. You guys are at peace with everything that's going on. You stand in the house, you're washing your hands, using your common sense, using the recommendations that have been given to us by the experts. But continue to do your research, continue to read, continue to stay in the word so that things will be clear to you and you will have peace as long as you're going as long as we're going through this situation right here so i just want to keep giving you a word of encouragement if i can <laughs> i know it's it's difficult we're in a difficult time right now and i'm laughing because i've seen so much <sighs> craziness you know it's the radiation that's causing this. The government put this out. Some of it, I believe, some of it I take with a grain of salt because I'm staying in the word. That is one thing that I will not deter away from because God will not lie to us. God will not deceive us. God will not put us in a blind spot where we don't know what is in store for us we won't know everything but as long as we step in faith that's what we got to do we got to step in faith and keep that rock as faithful as you can stand on it stand on that rock of god because he will let you go so now we're moving into um the liner and I was so proud of myself, y'all. I used this liner like I was a pro. I actually used the liner better than I did the pen liner. You know, with the felt tip. I actually did my wing better with this liner. So you'll probably see me doing liner from here on out. I'll probably, you know, dabble back and forth into the felt tip liner. The liquid liner. There you go. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll move back and forth with it. But I wanted to do something different. And I got the inspiration from the dress that I was wearing. And it puts me in the mind of tropical, desert type of feel. So, that's why I named it The Island Girl. The Island Girl. <laughs> so, I'm going to let you guys finish looking at the rest of this video. I will see you on the flip side of things. Remember, stay faithful, stay prayed up, stay in the word. 
don't stay in this media stuff because it's going to have you freaking out and it's going to have you just thinking all kind of crazy stuff. And I need y'all to stay strong. I need y'all to have faith and know that we are going to come out on this thing in a much better space than when we went into it. Because I'm noticing family is coming together. You're spending time with your loved ones. You're getting back in the kitchen. You're communicating better. And it's just so awesome. And that's what I surround myself with. When I'm on Facebook, I look at all the positivity. I post up positivity. And that's what you want to do when you face with something like this pandemic that we're in right now. So just keep that going and you're going to be all right. Until next time. I will see you on the flip side of things. Stay fancy and stay prayed up.